Hey, this is Mike Barker here at Four Seasons RV in Medicine Hat. Uh, in front of me is the 2022 Dutchman Coleman 263BH. Um, this thing's pretty much brand new. Uh, it's hard to believe that someone actually uh, used this trailer. Uh, very nice condition. I'm going to go through the inside outside and show you all the fantastic features. So at the front here we have a uh, power tongue jack. So makes it easier instead of hand cranking this thing. You have a cap here just in case the motor does stop working you can manually crank this there is two 20 pound propane tanks two batteries on this with a battery disconnect just at the front and beside that right there is a spot to be able to hook up an external solar panel no dents or damages to this at all like i said looks brand new on this side here you have uh, pass-through storage. The other side is quite large, just to give you an idea here. Really, really uh, a lot of room in this one. Um, you do have uh, water hookups here, a spray port there, cable port with a plug-in, all uh, able to be uh, run up through that there so you don't have to have this closed. Your exterior hatches are magnet latches. Really makes it ni nice to uh, be able to use. Don't have to worry about plastic latches or anything like that to uh, have to worry about breaking over the years. Plenty of windows on this one here. So inside definitely gives a lot of uh, natural light coming in. At the back here, because the bathroom is at the back. One central spot for your gray tank and black tank. Again, brand new tires. You really can't tell um, just because of the mud here. Enclosed underbelly, 30 amp power just at the back here with, uh, of course, your spare tire, sewer hose storage in the uh, rear bumper, and it is pre prepped to be able to have a backup camera there too, as well. I don't know if you can see that up top, but it does have a vent cover just right there. Go around to this side, full power awning on this, outside speakers, two doors. This door here is outside access to the bathroom. Uh, really nice because you're not tracking dirt or anything through the trailer at that point in time. Uh, power stabilizers front and back. Which switches just right here. You have a uh, black tank flush. So if you've never used one of these, it's got sprayers in the tanks. So it's going to help spray out that black tank uh, much more thoroughly than the old way of just running a hose down there and trying to flood it out. Solid steps on the main entry here, not your standard pull-out ones. And then there's the other side of the pass-through here. Again, lots of space. You got about, well, I don't know, two and a half, almost three feet of cargo space in here. Nice big open door. You definitely fit everything you'll need inside. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's head to the interior here. And, uh, check this out. Like I said, it's hard to believe this was even used. Just gonna pan through the whole thing here and then I'll get going on uh, everything it has to offer. All right. So your controls for the whole thing are just located right here. So your water tank, it is a gas water tank, um, water pump, interior exterior lighting and then of course your gray tanks on a power awning switch with your slide uh, control there too as well USB port right by the door as well as a GFI plug nice little storage here that tips out it's kind of interesting to see that there a little bit different than most trailers have set up which is kind of cool you have a 5000 BTU uh, forced air fireplace it is electric and temperature controlled so you can set that up to, uh, you know, if you like it in 72 degrees in here, if it is a little chillier out, once it hits that temperature, it's not going to heat anymore. Um, as well as, you know, you can have the fireplace going without the heat on, uh, give it a little bit of ambiance in here. A little bit of shoe storage just below the fireplace there too as well. Nice cubby hole, Bluetooth radio, inside outside speakers. There's a uh, HDMI port to be able to hook up a DVD player. Uh, as well as a USB port too for if you have movies downloaded 
spot for a TV just on this wall here. It was an option when this was ordered to have a TV. Um, I don't think it actually was uh, ever had one in here. The bedroom here, so you have two entries with a uh, sliding door as you can see right here. But it is an RV queen bed. You have a nice pull out drawer here. Another plug, USB ports here, as well as located just right there, one for each side. Nice little counter there too. Plenty of hanging storage. Shelf up top for anything extra. And under bed storage here too as well for extra blankets, pillows, or really anything else you want to put in here. Looking at your couch, so this couch does drop down to a bed, but it also reclines. So your recliner right here, you have a strap just right here to drop this down to a bed. It's just a matter of pulling it up. One hand, super simple. Sleep one comfortably. They say it could sleep two, but that'd be pretty tight, I think. <laughs> your dinette here, it is a booth dinette. You have storage underneath these two as well. You have access just from right here. Same thing on the other side. Uh, but this also does drop down to a bed. Like I said, plenty of windows, lots and lots of natural light coming through. You do have uh, your privacy shades here too as well. Be able to black that out if you really wanted to. Your bunk beds here. So there's a little ladder there. Uh, double wide bunk beds. USB port there for the top bunk. You have your own little light curtain to kind of go across give you a little bit more separation from the rest of the trailer USB down there as well with a light and on top of all of this more and more storage underneath like this is absolutely massive going into the bathroom so your foot flush toilet nice stand-in shower no damages you have a vent just above AC duct in here too as well Nice big sink. Medicine cabinet here. Sink's big enough that you know you can comfortably fit two hands. I don't have small hands by all means here, so really gives you a good idea. And then your outside uh, door here, outside access. So here's the kitchen area. You have a really nice stainless steel, big uh, 12 volt fridge. Allows it to be really, really deep. You have a spot for, you know, your can, stuff like that in the door. Temperature select right there. And a nice real deep freezer with your uh, temperature control just at the back too as well. Uh, this thing even still has the plastic protection cover that they do, that they come with uh, from factory. So really gives you an idea of how little this trailer was actually used. You have a nice big storage underneath with a pantry just beside. Loads and loads of room in here. They're deep. Like this is, that almost goes right up to my armpit on that one. That just kind of gives you an idea of how deep that actually is. Uh, three burner stove with an oven. Oven has never been used. The stove has this uh, tempered glass backsplash here. Stove top has never been used either. There's no signs of anything at all being set on this. Real nice big window here too, looking out to the camp camp uh, ground side of the, the trailer. Lots and lots of counter space throughout. Nice uh, kind of a black chrome stainless steel farm sink here uh, with a uh, big um, kind of a matte black um, faucet there too as well. Nice big full extension drawers all the way down. Storage underneath the sink here. Oh, you've got uh, your light. Lots and lots of space up here. These are quite deep too. So imagine a uh, big dinner plate. That's going to fit in there just nicely. Tons of room for everything you're going to need to put in there. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is just kind of a quick walkthrough here, just to give you a real good idea of what this thing has to offer. Just gonna kind of go through this here again, give you a better view of this. Lots of room with that slide out. Oh, 
All right. Well, hopefully I've gone through this well enough for you. If you do have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, give us a call here at Four Seasons. Thank you for watching.